Love Them Knives channel. To your knife. Cebu. G10. Oh, yeah. Welcome to Love Them Knives channel. Got the Cebu from Tuya Knives. Tuya Knife, right? I'm going to give you the link to their site. This is quite the knife. Getting a lot of really uh, rave reviews on their channel. If you, or their site, if you look at their site and there's feedback. And I never end up putting any buyer comments in there. I don't know why I don't. I need to do that someday. Dave's like probably scratching his head wondering what's going on. Oh. G10. Okay, here's the story of the Cebu knife from Tuya Knife. Of course, they have the thorax and they have the, the Envy and, I mean, a, a bunch of different. The Talisman. Oh, Talisman. Now with my Carta scales available. $7. The scales and all the hardware. Deep carry pocket clip. All the new stuff, including the pivot that's accessible with Torx and everything. Give you a whole bag of hardware and my Carta scales. For seven bucks? <laughs> what the hell? Where does that come from? I look for like optional scales for my Spyderco Para 2. And they're like 75 bucks for another set of scales. Like what? It's just G10. I'm not asking for the whole knife. I, okay, so I'm off of that now. Okay, so this, I, it came along with a zipper pouch. But I think you're going to get it in this box. Like that's what I got the other one, which is polished micarta. So if you weren't in on that uh, crazy uh, episode, it, it's wonderful. I did a review on this, so I'll put the link to the polished micarta Cebu knife. Cebu, uh, an island in the Philippines. And of course, a Filipino designer. Great looking knife. Very nice. I'll give you the link to the Instagram of the the designer. I believe I have his Instagram link in any case. So, you know, easy to flick because you got this opening on the blade and all this kind of stuff. But I want to do kind of a comparison between these two knives. So, let's make a big damn mess. Why not? So, I got this one. And Dave Warren it's at Two and I says, I think this one's going to be more narrow because this was a real handful. And so let's do that. Boy, they got good action on them. Ceramic bearings on the pivot. D2 steel blade. We've tested their D2. It's great. It's real D2. The HRC is appropriate for the knives and everything. So it's, uh, I can't remember exactly what it is, but don't worry. I'll stick it down here in, in the lower in print. I'll give you what the HRC was on the D2 Tuya knife. I think we tested um, actually the bruiser like this uh, with the, uh, on it and it may have been this actual exact knife because yeah there's the HRC mark so we tested this D2 and of course you know it's redundant to keep sticking every knife that has D2 on it from the same manufacturer in for testing because we got a lot of other knives and brands and things we want to test so in any case I'll, I'll put it down here in any case here we go G10 you can get it in orange you can get it in green the orange comes with blue hardware, titanium hardware, because, yeah, you go, oh, well, I can buy the bruiser for 50 bucks. Why am I paying 60 something dollars for this? And I'll, I'll pull that for you right now because it's, yeah, it's $79.99. Okay. Uh, and use the discount code LTK for $5 off. So now you're at $74.99. Is it worth $74.99? Yes. Yes, it is. Absolutely. Hate to say that, but uh, I don't hate to say that, actually. It's, uh, it's a cool knife. Oh, don't forget their flashlights, by the way. Two Unite flashlight. 800 lumens. 
800 lumens. I'm going to just throw this in right now because you can get different colors. And I got uh, two of the different three colors. They come with a little clip that keeps the button from actuating. and But it's 800 lumens and it's just high, low, strobe. Okay, real easy and real quick now. I just plug it in my little USB. That's it. There's no, I can't, you know, can't get to a battery. You just plug it in to the USB, charge it up, and screw on the butt cap, and you're ready to go. 800 lumens, and of course, it goes out like this, so you can narrow your focus or broaden it. So it, it does that. I mean, nothing real fancy, but 15 bucks and you can stick it in a USB and charge it up. I think they make great gifts. That's, that's how I'm going with that because people who are not real sophisticated flashlight people, you just want something that they can click the button and it turns on. So keep that in mind too. They're really, really cool looking and they zoom so they get wide or narrowed beam and 800 lumen rechargeable usb blah 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 so great knife there and oh great light there and then of course the micarta scales with all the hardware in the deep carry clip keep that in mind so we've we've talked about the micarta cebu on a previous review let's see how the fatness has changed 14.9 0.58. Ooh, I think that is thinner, if I remember right. 0.70. 17.8 millimeters. So if you want something that's kind of in your normal range, a 0.58 as opposed to a 0.70, here you go. See the liners. The liners are, are visible here where they're embedded in the scales here so that takes that much uh width out amazing huh otherwise they're very very similar obviously the exact same design knife and the exact same specifications uh as far as length and everything let me get my Okay, so we've got three and three quarter inch blade, 95 millimeters, uh, eight and five eighths overall, 22 centimeters, right at 22 centimeters. So it's not a small knife. It's not a small knife. It's a good size knife. How's the action? I mean, uh, how's the action? Click. Centered right up. Even though I took it apart and put it back together. Ceramic bearings. Centered up. Look at that. I put a little KPL lube on there, you know. Uh, didn't really need a lot of cleaning up. Here's the picture of it disassembled. <gasps> Multi-row ceramic bearings. D-shaped pivot. Yeah, that's what you're getting. For 79 bucks. Oh, 74.99. Okay. With the discount code. Skeletonized liners. Uh, that's a bad boy blade right there. But look at this. Look at the multi-row ceramic bearings. That just comes out and just hits you right there. And the fact that you get all this nice anodized titanium hardware on here. So, of course, you know. Oh, I remember when, what was it, Wee Knives? They first came out with their G10 budget line, D2 Steel, I believe. And then they had titanium hardware. And what were they? $118 a piece. Remember that? What was that, 2016, 2017? Well, times have changed, partner. And this is... It, it's, you know, this fills my hand. I like this palm swell here. It, 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 the ergos are good. Reverse grip is good. Uh, pocket clip is minimalist. It slides in your pocket really good. I've carried this a couple times. 
And yeah, screwdriver, if you got one of those and a Torx, and I can't remember if this was a number eight or number six, how they went with this. So I'm going to try number eight on here. Oh, okay. We're all number eights here. Are we number eights on these pocket screws? No, we're not. We're number sixes on the pocket screws, and we're number eights on the body screws and the pivot. Let me see if I got a little number six in here. Yeah, I do. So let's just check it for, for the fun of it. Yeah, that's a number six. Yeah, it is. Okay, so I used to get these all the time when I bought knives from DH Gate or whatever, so I you know, still keep them around. In any case, so yeah. Nice looking, great action, multi row ceramic bearings. Uh, feels good in the hand, fills the hand. If you want something that's super slender, then this is probably not your knife either. This is a 0.58. You know, the Spyderco Para 2 is a 0.45. So it is more slender in that regard. Yeah, it's smaller too, isn't it? Now, this aspect ratio will show them about the same size. But actually, this is a little larger. The Cebu is. Wow. I can't get over that action. The action is really good. Now, I think it did improve once I pulled it apart and put a little KPL. In fact, Dave said, oh, you know, he had to, when he got some of these knives in, he did put a little bit of lube on the uh, detent track on here. So, uh, <clears throat> but it was clean when I got it. Uh, it's just that, Wherever that little uh, track is for that, you might want to put a little bit of lube on that. I just actually reached in afterwards and put a little lube right on that detent, ceramic detent ball. And that thing just, whew, it just became a whole different knife. It really did. Boom, look at that drop. That's just beautiful. Now, uh, if you want to know our, uh, yeah, almost four millimeter blade stock. 0.151 of an inch. Wow. I don't know why. Uh, I'm not... And I don't usually like these sheep's foot or warny type blades necessarily. But I've really warmed up to this knife. I guess I just like it because it's a nice handful. It The action's so wonderful. It's so easy to flick, finger flick, which means that the detent's not that strong. Okay, so that's a four to a four and a half. It's fairly light detent. You know, I think it's appropriate for this knife. You know, it's about what you got on some of the lighter detent knives that we knives made, which was like the Zeta and the Escaton. I keep throwing them out there as at lighter detent knives but yes this is a lighter detent knife so if you want a beast like oh my god i'm gonna crush it Ugh. no this is not the knife for you this is a oh, lazy easy flick not a problem you know drop like a dream right in there now if you're active and you're running around and you got this knife in your pocket, you're still pretty good, right? Okay, but this does give you another way to open the knife, gravity flick. Man, that's just, that's just damn good. That is so much fun to play with. This one's just, just about the same, a little stiffer. A little bit. Mm, polish my carta. I don't see them on his side anymore. So these were like whoosh, there and gone. And then the G10s have come in. Did I show you the green one? Maybe I didn't. Well, yeah, I did. Bronze hardware. So that is stunning. That is really good. And then you go, why didn't you get the green one, dude? 
uh, because I don't know. I just felt orange. And of course, I like blue hardware, but I mean, I just wanted to get something really, really different. And at the time that I got this, he hadn't released these because of this, these little bronze screws for the pocket clip. Tuya Knife was supposed to have these as blue and they didn't. So they came in with these bronze ones and Dave was like, no. So he's he held them or for waiting for these blue screws to come in and replace. And I'm going, that doesn't bother me at all. Uh, actually, it kind of pops. In any case, I, no, it doesn't bother me. Maybe you'll send me the blue screws later. Uh, it's not really that important. Lanyard hole comes through here. Traction on the back. Spacer. <sighs> what have we not talked about? Big choil in the front. Can it be a knife? How about that? Yeah, maybe. Whoosh. Yeah, I'm doing sound effects now. Whoosh. Just, okay, now I'm just giving you a hard time. Yeah, but yes, they're sharp right out of the box. Stone wash blade, obviously. Fit and finish is just great. I don't know what it is about the Cebu. What is it? I mean, there'll be a knife that they'll do, you know, uh, and it just gets my attention. And I don't know why, but the Cebu, if I can get all the cut paper off here, Cebu really does that Dave Warren one, the Envy, the Thorax. They just, they, I really like them. And then the Bruiser, as far as a everyday kind of user knife. I mean, how sensible is that blade shape? Uh, D2, uh, ceramic bearings, and this thing. I mean, it's just got, <laughs> it's got an incredible drop to it. I mean, wow. I think at the time he had a little sale. I'm, I think I got this for around like 45 or something. It was just, where do you do that? In any case, two of knives doing some really cool stuff. I like this G10 one. I probably like it better than the Micarta one. Isn't that crazy? Because the Micarta one costs more money. But I don't know. This G10 is just... It's so usable. See this kind of pattern here? It's not real grainy, grippy, but uh, it's grippy enough. It's grippy enough. Can I fail this? Oh yeah, I can fail this knife, yeah. Easy, it's easy to fail uh, because the detent's so light. But the detent being that light, just, just lazy flip it. It's so intuitive, just a lazy flip. Lazy flip. I mean, there's button, push button. <sighs> Man, that's easy. That's easy. Might deserve a lanyard actually in here. Might be kind of interesting. Okay. I'm done playing online. But, good looking knives. Uh, you might prefer the green. I like the orange. Um, so, yeah, the green is a little bit more, uh, I don't know, maybe a little bit more sophisticated, less optic. And with the uh, bronze, uh, probably, yeah, probably going to be a lot more popular. Don't forget the flashlights. 15 bucks. Throw one in your basket. I mean... They just make a great gift and also just a grab and go. I mean, just a grab and go. Um, I just, you know, when I got mine, I just stuck the bud end into my USB thing and the red light goes on until it turns green and then, you know, it's charged up and it's just good to go grab. It's, it's not an expensive flashlight, 15 bucks, but wow. Uh, so, and it all helps to support the Tuya knife representative in the USA and the Two Knife brand, Dave and Rebecca, great people. Stay in touch with them. I know there's a lot of Two Knife fans out there, and you know what? For damn good reason. So, yeah, they've been right there 
in front, great value, and immediate service, super quick shipping. I mean, I just, you know, it's just a great value all the way around. And uh, they're, uh, they're not knives, the, the designs and everything that have been coming out, I've liked them. The Argon, the Chicane, the Talisman, all this kind of thing. And then coming back and doing upgrades. But, wow. Uh, Austan, Micarta, Upgrade, Deep Carry Clip. Everybody's really digging this one, too. So, thank you so much. Had a two-you-knife moment, haven't we? And it's all good. Because you know what we do around here. We love them knives, so you guys stay sharp.